You are watching Strip Down, Saskatchewan's only one-hour local music showcase. The award-winning show that brings the venue to you in the comfort of your own living room. I am your host, Curtis Anderson. So much going on tonight. I am so excited for tonight's episode. We are going to preview Songs for Supper 5, which of course takes place Saturday, November 19th at the Refinery. We have not one, not two, but three of the ten musicians here tonight, plus a co-host, plus a returning crew member, so much going on. Ladies and gentlemen, kicking off the show. You may remember him from episode one, the man behind Songs for Supper, Mr. Chris Brinklow. And miles on these four wheels Working for my pay Long nights and short days sleep Keep my thoughts at bay But it seems no matter where I go Your memory follows me like I'm walking out of the sun Right into the rain Just to hide my pain And I'm trying to look for a clever hook To make this song complete And I'm trying to find the strength To stand on my own two feet get this guitar to play me a different tune but no matter how hard I try a tear still hits my eye just know that I'm trying I'm really trying My friends, they all think that I'm crazy for talking this way. And I'll sure never understand why my mind wants you to stay. I've got over a hundred voices on my phone, but yours is the one I want to hear Again I'm walking out of the sun Right into the rain Just to hide my pain And I'm trying to look for a clever hook To make this song complete And I'm trying to find the strength to stand on my own two feet And I'm trying to get this guitar To play me a different tune But no matter how hard I try A tear still hits my eye Just know that I'm trying I'm really trying Clever hook to make this 
find the strength just to stand on my own two feet. And I'm trying to get this damn guitar to play me a different tune. But no matter how hard I try, a tear still hits my eye. My heart keeps on asking me why. Why are you still trying? Why are you trying? Just know that I'm trying. I'm trying to forget you. watching Strip Down. This is our annual Songs for Supper episode. The man behind the whole thing, Chris Brinklow, just played. I, I don't even know where to start. I guess we should start with uh, tonight's co-host, John Lajamodier. Say it right? You said it right. Awesome. Woo. You are here tonight because uh, about six months ago, you won a Reed Saskatoon auction. You uh, yes. do donated some money, and in return, Shaw gave you the uh, exciting co-host spot on an episode of Strip Down. Hang with Curtis, yeah, couldn't be more excited. And it worked out perfectly because, uh, of course, Songs for Supper is a fundraiser for the food bank, and we were also recently involved in the food bank food basket challenge. Yes, we were. So you and I have a lot of ground to cover tonight. We talking do. Talking about the food bank yep. and its importance. Important. So this is co-host John. Let's move on. Okay. Joining us tonight, as I mentioned, you just saw, heard a song from him. Uh, the man behind Songs for Supper. He was Stripped Down's first episode ever back in February of 2008. He's been on, and I can't even remember, this is our 135th episode. You've either been on here three or four times, or four or five times, Chris. Yeah, we'll just say four to round it off. Welcome back to Stripped Down. It's great to be back. I love <laughs> it. It was so surreal. Again, uh, if you remember Jennifer Juba, uh, one of our crew members since episode one, left at the end of last season to go to post-secondary education in Vancouver. And it was just crazy, because she showed up tonight, unannounced. Wow. I didn't know she was back in for the long weekend. I'm honored she came back just to see my show. It's true. But there was just this weird moment where you and I and Dan and Bryn and Jen were all standing there. And it was like, that, this, this episode <laughs> one. Like, this happened in yeah. February of 2008, and these people are still here. It was kind of a crazy moment for me. It's been overwhelming already, and we've just started. Yeah. You have... Two out of the, uh, well, you yourself were one, but you, yeah. you brought two out of the ten people playing uh, Saturday the 19th at the Refinery, Songs for Supper 5. Absolutely. Making her debut, Lynn Bessie McGinnis. Yes. Welcome to Strip Down. Thank you very much. Good to be here. Are you all uh, relaxed now? You said you were a little nervous before. I'm totally nervous. We can talk lots with the playing. Well, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> we'll keep our fingers crossed. And returning to Strip Down. Thank you, Curtis. Stephen Mayer, last seen episode 97. Meyer. Meyer, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> last seen episode 97, right before things got crazy, right before episode 98 of Devil's Paradise, episode 99 of Pirate Fridays, and of course, episode 100 with NLX. It was good times last season. Welcome back. Thank you. You recently came in back. second in the duo competition as well, which is probably the biggest thing to happen to the music scene in Saskatoon since Stripped Down. Sure, Amber. We'll just throw that out there. Lots to talk about tonight. Just, like, I don't know how we're going to fit this into 60 minutes. But Chris, <laughs> let's start. Songs for Supper 5. Yeah, it's been a great journey, and uh, thank you very much for uh, running alongside with us. It's, uh, you pointed that out. Strip Down's fifth season, Songs, Songs for Supper Supper's 5. Songs for Supper 5, yeah. Uh, started a couple, uh, first one started off at McNally Robinson as a couple of nights, and then we moved it to, to the refinery and uh, for the second year, and it's been there ever since. And uh, just uh, basically, it's a great opportunity for uh, local musicians to kind of just, uh, you know, put uh, price tags aside and just uh, have a good night of a uh, good intimate setting at the refinery and just share from the heart and uh, also give back to Saskatoon. The thing I love about Songs for Supper, uh, well, number one, that you always ask me to host it, which is awesome because it's honestly a highlight of my year. Uh, and again, We'll talk to John a little later about how it means even more this year, but I've always been a big supporter of the food bag before this challenge. Uh, but what I like about you, Chris, is you've got a really solid clique of musician friends. However, each year you always go outside that. You always try to bring new people in. Uh, so this year, 
Who do we got? This year we have a few new faces. Uh, There's a lot of new faces this there year. There is. There is. Uh, Eli for short. Yep. Uh, and uh, he, Eli and I, we went to a songwriting class together, and that's how we met. And then uh, he moved to Edmonton and just recently moved back, and I said, hey, man, do you want to take part? And he was, was more than happy. Uh, all of the above. Yep. Uh, I was a little hesitant before because uh, it's more of a solo acoustic, but they're a duo. Uh, but, you know, they're, <clears throat> they got a real good sound, a real, uh, real good act, so I invited them, and I uh, got Lynn back for her third. Mm -hmm. Stevens second, mm -hmm. so uh, and uh, Sylvia Chave is her first appearance as well. So uh, some new faces, and I might be forgetting one. Megan. Oh Ma no, Megan's been. Uh, this is Megan's third actually. Yep. Meg was involved in the first one, but uh, Stephen McGuire. This is Stephen first McGuire. one. I've been trying to wheel Stephen for years, and every year he's got an excuse like, "Oh, I'm going to Ireland." And all that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sounds, terrible. Sounds fishy. So, I know. Very selfish. You're Irish. Why would you want to go back there? But no. Yeah. So finally, it worked out. Uh, you know, we had a date change, and the date change worked in our favor, and mm -hmm. we got uh, Stephen McGuire in. So I'm uh, good friends with Stephen McGuire. I know he's really excited to play because again, yeah. it's going to be one of the last things he does before. He goes back yeah. to Ireland, and when he returns, he's gonna have a baby with him. So it's kind of, it'll be emotional for him too, because that's kind yeah. of like his send-off Saskatoon show as well. Yeah. But uh, Saturday night, the 19th at the refinery. At the refinery. Tickets yeah. are available in advance at the door. You can, yeah. We we encourage people to get them in advance because uh, you don't want to ever risk anything at the door and being turned away. We don't want to turn anybody away, especially when it's uh, all the proceeds. Like the artists take nothing home. Yeah. All the proceeds go to the food bank. Uh, even the refinery has uh, chopped some of their fees just to uh, mm -hmm. so we can Good afford touch. to give more. Mm -hmm. uh, on the boards.ca, they can go to the website and uh, the refinery phone number. Uh, we'll put it up on the screen. Yeah, I think it's 653-5191. They can call for tickets. We so. try not to misinform people on the yeah. show. Uh, and people are uh, encouraged <laughs> to bring non-perishable food as well, on yeah. top of everything else. Absolutely. Uh, they can... Uh, <clears throat> they can bring uh, whatever they want, and we'll have a couple of bins downstairs in the basement. So, Best memory so far? Five years. <clears throat> yeah, it's been a couple. I mean, uh, last year we had uh, some involvement by CBC, and they, uh, that mm -hmm. was a real uh, good highlight. Uh, I got to co-host with Brittany Robinson. That was a yeah, highlight, and too. That was, I adore Brittany. Yeah. And it was you know, an honor for everybody to be part of the, that was part of that show, to be heard nationwide. Mm. And, uh, you know, CBC, I think they even still have it on their website. Mm -hmm. So people can still go and click on the link and uh, hear last year's show. Um, highlights so far, I think uh, uh, there's so many. Uh, there was a couple of years ago, uh, we had Kim Fontaine and Tim Vaughn. They were in the same set. And uh, Kim was doing first one of her songs, uh, Pit Pincher Creek. And uh, Tim just, you know, started playing a solo along with it. And that's the beauty of it is, I mean, not everybody knows each other's song, but you can, you know, if somebody has a, a spot that they can fill in with a solo, somebody can kind of fill in. And it's just, you know, everybody just kind of chips in on. It has happened where people are just chipping on each other's song. And it just kind of makes the magic of the whole night. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So. We have so much ground to cover tonight. Uh, we're switching things up a little bit too because you're standing, the other two are sitting when they play. <laughs> so I think we're actually going to gear up for our first commercial break. When we come back, we'll rearrange things. Uh, we'll have a chair on set so you two can play and we'll, we'll jump into it. We'll jump into the food bank. We'll jump into the food bank challenge. We'll talk about why the food bank is important to you, why yeah. it's your fundraiser of choice. And uh, a little later, we'll get to know uh, Lynn and uh, Stephen a little more. <laughs> Uh, I guess, yeah, we'll gear up for our very first commercial break, but stick around. We have lots more to cover as we gear up for Songs for Supper 5 right after this. Never gets nothing done If I had some money, I'd be on the run with all the money I had is gone. Mr. Sicily Pizza and Pasta is proud to sponsor community programming on Shaw TV. Mr. Sicily, located at the corner of 51st and Miller in the north end of Saskatoon. 975-0345. The following sponsors are proud to support local community programming on Shaw. Long and McWave, 721 43rd Street East, Saskatoon, 244 0509. 
or online at long-mcquade.com. Altimo Euromoto. Two hundred four Third Avenue South in downtown Saskatoon, six six four sixty six forty. Do you know where your tap water comes from? It can come from one of two sources: groundwater or surface water. Surface water often begins as snowfall that accumulates in the winter and melts into our rivers and lakes. Cities will treat it to get rid of most of the impurities and then send it down the pipes, under the streets, and into our homes. The problem is, the quality of water is being damaged by our activities, and as our earth warms up, there may be less water available in the future. How can we look after our water resources? Find out where your water comes from and how it is being protected. Use less when you're showering, brushing your teeth, or watering your lawn. And never pour toxins like cleaning solutions down a toilet, sink, or storm drain as it ends up in our rivers and lakes. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? Ladies and gentlemen, Lynn Bessie McGinnis. Life. Raised a family, saved his money, loved his wife. Thirty years of working at the same job every day. And then one Thursday morning, Joe drove away. Everybody said he had it made. Nobody knew the price he paid. Caught up in the business side of living until that moment, that aha moment, decision made. Eureka moments. When a great idea takes flight Oh, out of nowhere All your senses come alive And you know you have to go just to survive Jane puts everyone before herself Her hopes and dreams live quiet on designer shelves Sitting on the sideline waiting for her turn And then one Sunday night Jane didn't say goodbye Said she had it made. Nobody knew the price she paid. Sitting on the sidelines, waiting for her turn until that moment, that aha moment, decision made. Sudden blinding flash of light. A revelation when a great idea takes flight. Oh, out of nowhere, all your senses come alive. 
and you know you have to go just to survive. Eureka moments, a sudden blinding flashlight, a revelation when a great idea takes flight Oh, out of nowhere All your senses come alive And you know you have to go just to survive Now Joe walks the beach and paints the sunset. Jane does a circus high wire act without a net. Let's get you back. Lynn Bessie McInnes on Strip Down. Yeah, we'll slide you back. Okay. Thanks, Chris. Got some juggling to do tonight nice on the set Thank of Stripped Down. That was beautiful. Thank you. What was that? That was called Eureka Moments. And what's it about? It's a brand new song. I call it my Harry Chapin song. It's got to start getting nodding over yeah, there. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it was just a song that I, I wrote this summer at uh, Emma Lake at Canterdine Campus. And uh, the first time I went to play it to anyone was Kim Fontaine. We were doing an artist retreat for a week. And when I got the very third line out, Kim said, did he die? Is he dying? Did he kill himself? <laughs> and that's not the purpose of the song. The whole idea was just, you know, we have eureka moments all the time, little opportunities in our life where we need to change up things. And if we listen, we do. We change up the little things, and life's good. And those are two people that I thought didn't change things up. And one day, it's still going to hit the wall. And it had Love a happy it. ever after. <laughs> had a happy ever after at the end. But no, Kim, they didn't die. <laughs> awesome. We are previewing Songs for Supper 5, which, of course, takes place Saturday night, November 19th, right at the refinery. We have Mr. Chris Brinklow, uh, Lynn Bessie McGinnis, and Stephen Meyer. And alongside me, co-host, the man who... Who paid to be on the show tonight? God, oh, he paid. I did. You did. <laughs> at, a, so, at a at a Reed Saskatoon auction, this uh, gentleman here stepped up, John Lajemodier. What's your background, John? Uh, I publish a newspaper called Eagle Feather News here in Saskatoon. Born and raised in town here, and uh, we're at Reed Saskatoon, big supporters of literacy. Mm -hmm. And uh, the bidding was going on for this, and I. I didn't know much about the show, you know, and uh, it sounded like a neat thing to do. Okay. So some people were bidding. <laughs> and, Sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, I started bidding on it, and then it uh, kind of got crazy. And then uh, what also excited me was this show, and I also get to go do a Blades game with you. Yes. So uh, I thought it would be good for the kids, and next thing you know, we won. And literacy wins, and I get to come and spend some time with some awesome Well, musicians. let's make it clear, this was the important part, right? Not the, uh, I was always not, spending, not the tour. Spending time with you. WHL. Guys. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously. Th thank you for uh, stepping up and, and throwing some cash at this. I yeah. remember when uh, the, the supervisor told me uh, they were auctioning off a, a co-host. I was like, we're doing what now? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good luck. And uh, yeah, no, I was surprised it went for as much as it did. Thank yeah. you so much. Hey, my pleasure. Um, yes. And then we connected because I didn't. Re I wasn't After. really talking to you back then. No. You were just kind of this this person I knew about that I had to bring on the show That's in the right. season, which was fine. But then I actually met you during our food basket food bank challenge, yeah. which I would like to go on record and say was absolute hell. What yes. we did was uh, some people in the city, a bunch of, you know, there's people from television, there's me from television, Whitney from radio, yeah. from the newspaper, newspaper, there's, you know, young mother, family. Police inspector. What we did was we agreed to live off the, uh, a, a, a weekly ration from the Saskatoon Food Bank just to see how hard it was. And, oh my God, like, <laughs> I, I have supported the food bank in the past. Yep. Uh, in Very 2007, well. former co-worker Jackie Kripke and I participated in a three-day Folk Fest Race Around the World Challenge, nice. which was way more harder than it had to have been. It was ridiculous. And uh, we 
raised three thousand dollars. We won. Nice. We donated that to Chap, which of course works for the food bank. And then, if you'll remember, episode ninety nine. With Pirate Fridays, we filled the uh, set with food, which eventually went to the food bank. Good so, stuff. No stranger to supporting the food bank, but we agreed to uh, to live off the food bank food basket for a week. For a week. And uh, what what did you learn? You didn't I, make it. Did I you? I learned that uh, there's uh, I was done after four days. Yeah. Uh, and technically, we're supposed to go seven. I rediscovered my love of garlic sausage in that yep. time. And, that was uh, the only meat. Because that was the only was meat the you only got meat. in the thing in a tin of, tin of salmon. Yeah. That was it for, for protein in that sucker, except for the lentils. Yeah. Uh, but I learned that I don't have the patience uh, to, to plan meals. Mm -hmm. I realized that the food bank, uh, as important as it is for emergency, uh, it's not a way to live. Uh, I, I found I ran out of energy right away. I didn't, and I know you, uh, you stretched it. You really worked on it. I followed your blog and your slow descent into insanity. And uh, <laughs> People laugh. But, <laughs> but he was, uh, the guy lost it. And I, and I could totally understand that. I quit after four days. I was in the middle of a very busy part of my yep. work. And I was also doing renos in my basement. So yep. I was really putting out my physical yep. and mental uh, side and coaching hockey. And, and, and I hit a wall. I hit a wall. I was physically, uh, during a hockey drill, showing my kids that I coach hockey. I started shaking so bad, I lost all my energy, all my power. And I had been eating regular. I didn't, I didn't ration, but I, what I was eating wasn't what I should have been eating. Mm -hmm. So I seen the shortcomings in, uh, in what is available to people that are in desperate times. And uh, so that was the eye-opening part for me. And also, uh, I realized how blessed I am how very yeah. absolute fortune I am to have food security and have a roof over my head and, and to not have to worry about that next meal. And I, you know, it built up the awareness of having to uh, make sure that, uh, uh, you know, we, we put our umbrella out to keep everybody uh, in a good way, I mm -hmm. guess, with food. So it, it reiterated the importance to me of the food bank, uh, but how uh, tapped for resources they are. And so, bless you. Yes, Chris Brinklow. Always, always, everything each year goes to uh, the food bank. Why is that? Uh, well, for me, it's not Christmas unless, you know, like I've said this before, it's not Christmas until the food bank, or until Songs for Supper yeah. is official. That's, that's one of my and, favorite uh, parts is every year at the end when you stand up and address the crowd and you say, <laughs> this is my Christmas. Yeah, it is my and Christmas. And it feels like Christmas. Sometimes it feels more like Christmas than actual Christmas. And I'm, right. I'm saying that honestly. I, I love the event. I do. I, I love it, too. And it's... Uh, Basically, it, it, it rooted from, uh, I was working as a TA in uh, one of the community schools, and I was just subbing at, at the school. I wasn't even a, the regular TA there. And uh, one of the kids came in, uh, he was late, and uh, I was getting him ushered into the class, and he was, he was kind of rubbing his eyes, and uh, he was tired, he was a little tired, and he was crying. And I said, what's wrong? I said, what, why are you crying? He says, well, I haven't had breakfast yet. And, and I said, well, you know, we kind of talked a bit about it, and a lot, fortunately at that school there was a, a, a cafeteria of sorts where they made uh, breakfasts and, and uh, kids didn't have the fruits and stuff, but uh, it really uh, hit me hard. I don't know, I just really felt uh, compelled to try and do things, uh, do something. And uh, songs for supper, I guess, you know, using my relationship with uh, musicians here in town and, uh, you know, just kind of... Uh, uh, seeing what I could do to make a difference and try and raise some money. So good on you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, again, we're all over the map tonight. So now let's let's go over to Stephen <laughs> Meyer. How you been, buddy? Very good. <laughs> been off in the side. Welcome back. It's been Thank pretty you. much almost an exact year. It's a pleasure to be back. It, it was last winter, wasn't it? It was. Yep. Uh, you look way different. You got long hair and a beard. And got a haircut. Got a beard trim. <laughs> You're yeah. all presentable now. <laughs> I've grown up a lot since last year. Yeah, yeah, it was probably stripped down. After each episode of Stripped Down, I feel we've all no, grown No, I think you, you evolve a little bit. It's true. Yeah. We, we live, we laugh, we learn after, yeah. after every episode. I'll say. Let's get to a song, man. I'll okay. help you set up. If Let's you do bring it. Your, again, I apologize to the viewers about the setup here, but it's this, there's really no other way no we can do this. No one apologize to them. <laughs> 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 Let's get all to right. a song, and then uh, maybe after the break we'll learn about all things going on with you these days okay because again you, you did a pretty strong showing at a recent competition but i did more on that later yeah and i have a you know i, I play in a band uh called crestwood and um we have an album and, and this song is on that album and it's called the movies and uh, i'm gonna play it here <laughs> Oh, 
heart and dry fields under a summer sky spend the days waiting for the fall and twice a day just to turn the blues to gray she would run away hiding from it all For the rest of my days playing like the movies Nobody sees nobody ever could And if you don't down but I know that I should and I'll follow you down to where the creek runs through and we'll bear our feet and wash off in the stream Just a dream For the rest of my days Playing like the movies Nobody sees, nobody ever could I won't break down, but I know that I should. And twice a day, just to turn the blues to gray, she would run away. Watching Strip Down, we have to gear up for our second commercial break, but stick around. We got the second half of Strip Down coming up right after this. underground. Groundwater is found in the layers of soil and rock beneath our feet in saturated areas called aquifers. This water source is collected in wells and supplies about half of North America's drinking water. The problem is the quality and safety of this underground water is directly affected by what we do on the land above it. What can you do to keep your drinking water safe? Groundwater starts on the surface, so whatever you put on your lawn that the plants don't use can seep into the groundwater. 
This includes excess chemicals and fertilizers, and even oil spills, so be sure to dispose of them properly. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? For more information on how you can be more water aware, visit waterunderfire.ca. natural things on Earth and how they interact is biodiversity. From the microscopic to the mighty. From the smallest body of water to the coldest. From underground to the highest ground. When biodiversity is rich, we can count on the natural world to produce the oxygen we breathe, filter and purify the water we drink, and grow the plants we rely on for food and medicine. Due to human activities, biodiversity is being lost faster than nature can replenish it. So let's do what we can to help preserve biodiversity. Create natural spaces and plant native species. Take part in a wildlife survey. Get out and experience Canada's amazing variety of wildlife. And that's just a start. To learn more about biodiversity and how you can help protect it, visit hww.ca. You are watching Stripped Down. It is our annual preview of Songs for Supper. This year, of course, in 2011, it's Songs for Supper 5, taking place Saturday, November 19th at the refinery. My co-host tonight, John Lajemodier, has brought his entire family on. Uh, he's got a big announcement. Again, this blew my mind during the commercial break. Uh, you're going to throw some money at Chris. Yes. Uh, after our little exposure with the, the food bank challenge and all the work we do with the food bank, and uh, my kids actually suffered during the challenge. They didn't take the challenge, but I got grumpy at them. Yes. Uh, was your dad grumpy when he wasn't eating correctly? Was he grumpy? Yes. I was grumpy with my own family, and I felt bad. I did it's too. like watching other people eat normal food. Just like, ah, so frustrating. Ah. Oh, I was so self-involved. It was sick. Uh, so anyway, uh, part of what we want to do to help alleviate is make a donation to your campaign uh, for... Uh, Songs for Supper, five, and the kids have the amount. How much are we giving them? Five hundred dollars. Holy cow. Wow. That's awesome, guys. Wow. Thank you very much. That's awesome. <laughs> That's very good. So we're a week away, and you're already here. Yeah, I'm already up. You're That's up. excellent. <laughs> That's good. Um, yeah. That's yeah. incredible. Thank you so much, you guys. You want to say hi? Wave to the camera. Say hi. Hey, it's the fam. You're on TV. <laughs> All right. Uh, Chris, yeah. after that exciting announcement, you're up. Song number two, play something. Yeah. Play something in appreciation. I'll play something happy. There yeah. you go. Some happy music. Not do that. All right, well, here's a song that's uh, called My Life is Good. circle of friends arm in arm until the end 
different in our own ways. We live, we laugh, we are here to stay. My life is good. Wouldn't change one thing. Don't need a big white house. Don't care for diamond rings. My life is good. Wouldn't want it any other way. I'm the richest man on earth. And I'm happy to say my life is good. When time gets tough, feel like I'm gonna crack. I take a deep breath and I take one step back. I look at all the good things in my life. My kids, my friends, and my beautiful wife. My life is good. Wouldn't change one thing. Don't need a big white house. Don't care for diamond rings. My life is good. Wouldn't want it any other way. I'm the richest man on earth, and I'm happy to say my life is good. Wouldn't change one thing. Don't need a big white house. Don't care for diamond rings. My life is good. Wouldn't want it any other way. I'm the richest man on earth, and I'm happy to say my life is good. Chris Brink, little ladies and gentlemen, have a seat. I don't think the cameras caught it, but during that song, Stephen threw his pick at you. Is that some sort of weird? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing, sign. Thing artists do when they like start <laughs> really liking it. They... It was like a compliment. It, like I didn't have any money, but I wanted, yeah. to, give it, I wanted <laughs> to give him them, something, eh? you know. Yeah. Like, so. See, I'm, I'm not a musician like everybody thinks right. I am, so I, I don't know these things. I thought that was oh, no. pretty cool. I'm gonna take a big handful of picks to concerts now and yeah, yeah. throw them back at the band. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, songs for supper <laughs> five. When you start killing the chorus, I'm just gonna be like, <laughs> just picking them. Just yeah. yeah, catch all on camera. Picking them. Okay. You played that song on the very first episode of Strip Down. And I remember, because you said this is a song about Britney Spears and how I'm happy I don't have her life. Yes. And that was the song. That was, that's where it inspired from. I was looking at her life and how miserable at the time. Well, I'm pretty sure she's flat and old. Going on we'll life. just say she's but miserable. But yeah, she's, we'll just say she's miserable for the sake of the song. And at the time, you know, she was going through all her K-Fed stuff. And I was like, you know what? I don't need all that stuff to be happy. I just have my friends, my family. Yeah. and. There was a That's time it. I thought I needed K-Fed to make me happy, <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't. I think we all have those K-Fed uh, moments. We all have those K-Fed moments. Yeah. I hope uh, it was a short time. <laughs> yeah. 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 I want to I talk to uh, Steve, but really quick. Chris, yeah. you've been kind of a roller coaster since the show started. You've been playing, then not playing, and you hurt your hand, and then you were you left the city. You weren't even <clears> here at last year's uh, Songs yeah. for Supper preview. The career of Chris, the musical career, where has it been for the five years? The career of Chris... It's been doing that. <laughs> it has been. And, uh, you know, it's, I, I don't know. I just, uh, with the kids, like having to be a family man, I just don't know if I have the time to invest to take it on the road. I eventually would like, want to do a CD. And I think I'm going to title the CD uh, before I get too old, just because uh, <laughs> I'm, good. I'm 38, not Never getting any old. younger. Well, okay, no, no, okay. <laughs> Lynn, okay, you're 39, I know, okay, but you got a head start, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's just being the family man and, uh, you know, just priority-wise, uh, music is not going to be paying all the bills that I need to pay off right now. And so I have to work, and then I have my other stuff on the weekends. And uh, so it's kind of taking a backseat. I play about three times a year just to kind of stay in the loop. But but, but you get paid here, right? I do, so, yeah. Uh, it's all that matters here. I mean, that you get paid here. Yeah. Just like when I host songs for supper, I get paid here. And, you know, and we are, as <laughs> I mentioned before. my heart, people, not my pocket. Oh, I was like, yeah, people yeah, yeah, no, no, It goes yeah, right into this pocket. I just put just the money throw a right by my heart. Throw right. Right. I'm out. That was the only one I had. But before our last commercial break, let's throw it back over to Steve. It's been a year yes. since you've been here. You've shaved and cleaned up since then. Yep. And you did very, very well at this recent competition called the Duo. You did pretty good. Recap yeah. that. Yeah, well, it was good. It was like a duo um, competition. competition at the Staccato Tusk restaurant. And, and we're talking the best of the best of Saskatoon, the, though, the really. The cream of the crop. 
Curtis. It really was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it was good. There was actually don't it was, say it's it like was it's really good. Because there, there was uh, like there was a lot of great performance. And uh, Stephen McGuire, who's going to be at Songs for Supper, was one of the duos with his his uh, partner T Bone. And yeah, um, we ended up coming second, and we were really happy to do that. And it was it was great. Yep. Yeah. Is it going to be weird with you and Stephen on the same stage? Because he's got no, that, that Irish right. No, we reconciled all our differences. Yeah. We're, yeah. Beat. <laughs> No, are you kidding me? Steve's a I'm really joking. good stand-up guy, and yeah, he's, yeah. He's always a, a pleasure to play shows with him. But yeah, you Chris. took second, and that we went through your mind there. I mean, you were—that's uh, pretty big for for that competition. We were a bit, we were a bit nervous, and uh, just to keep on the Britney Spears theme, we did a you had to do a top, a number one Billboard hit song of all time. Yeah, and so we did Britney Spears. Whatever her first hit was, there maybe, maybe, one, maybe more one more time. Oh my! But we did like a he jazz. We did like a jazz version. Uh, my partner Jant and I. He did the stand up, and it was. Uh, and so, anyways, we were just really happy because we thought that was ridiculous and got away with it. Thanks. Nice. Yeah. It's hard. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. I like how you were like, "Oh, what's her number one hit song again?" And you checked your tattoo. Oh, right. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. One more time. Oh, congratulations! <laughs> thank you. I was I was pretty excited when I heard that. I thought, "Oh, good." Like, yeah. it, went, it went to Steve. Second yeah. place. Well, good thank for you. Add you. Crestwood's coming along. Crestwood is be on doing the show really good. We're, we're soon. New Year. Yeah, we're gonna do a show here on Strip Down pretty soon. New yep. Year. We're we're hoping to have a, our second album done by spring. And then we're going to come on here and just burn the place down to the ground. Yes, yeah. I expect it. Okay, <laughs> Literally. We, we have to, it's fine with me most days. Okay. We have to take our last commercial break. We are burning through time. We have two songs left, and we wrap things up for our Songs for Supper 5 preview coming up right after this. All right, yeah, we're going to come back. Optimus Prime, what are you doing? Over there, Optimus Prime. The following sponsors are proud to support local community programming on Shaw. Long and McWave, 721 43rd Street East, Saskatoon, 244-0509, or online at long-mcquave.com. Altimo Euromoto. Two hundred four Third Avenue South in downtown Saskatoon, six six four sixty six forty. Mr. Sicily Pizza and Pasta is proud to sponsor community programming on Shaw TV. Mr. Sicily, located at the corner of Fifty First and Miller in the north end of Saskatoon, nine seven five zero three four five. Ladies and gentlemen, Lynn and Bessie McGinnis. This song is called Saguaro Nights. Spent a little time in Arizona last winter writing some new tunes, so this is one of them. A blood red sky hangs on the horizon. Slowly toward the dawn, Saguaro moonlight sets my spirit free. Saguaro nights wash over me. Ancient footsteps, ancient fire. Sassy memories, dark silhouettes that reach to the heavens, guard the desert 
all my dreams. So borrow nights, just me and Orion. So borrow nights, walking slowly toward the dawn. So borrow Sets my spirit free, Saguaro nights wash over me. Every now and then, the desert calls me home. I can't take you with me, I have to go alone. Saguaro nights, just me and Orion. Saguaro nights, walking slowly toward the dawn. Saguaro moonlight sets my spirit free. Saguaro nights wash over me. Sunlight paints the red rock and the desert sleeps. Stop. Lynn and Bessie McGinnis. Yeah, I'll let you reset. Okay, let's bring her out. Oh. Someone's knocking at the door about half an hour before the show is supposed to start, and who out of all the volunteers could it be? It's a returning Surprise. Jennifer Juba. <laughs> if who you remember had her goodbye episode, she was one of the original crew members from episode one until the end of season four, where you left. You left the show, you left the province, you're out of the yep. coast now going to school. Yeah, and how, how have things been, Jen? Fantastic. It's beautiful out there. I Just love it. Surprised everybody. All of a sudden, yes. Jennifer Juba's back, <laughs> knocking at the door. Is it is it strange to be back? Is it like it you never is. left? It's really weird. It yeah. was a weird moment it's with awful. you and Adan and Bryn and Chris Brinkle and I, because yeah. it, was, it was like a time warp. Your face when I when you saw me at the door was just awesome. Well, I was like, why is Bryn dressed like Jen? I, I didn't get it, but it was really <laughs> Jen. So how long are you back for? Just the kind of the weekend, yeah, just, just back to see family. Monday, yeah. So this is the one and only, what was it like yeah. jumping back on the camera, the switcher that's broken awesome. now thanks to yeah. last week. Work, you you missed 9-11 Turbo by one it's week. One of your favorite Saskatoon yeah, bands. they're awesome. All right, uh, final words. We'll see you again maybe Christmas time. Yeah, might have to make a reappearance Welcome again. back, ladies and gentlemen. Jennifer Juba, thanks for coming back. Whoa, your, your jersey's still hanging. Your jersey's yeah. still hanging. It'll be there forever. It'll be there forever. <laughs> We're wrapping things up. Uh, songs for Supper 5, Chris Brinklow, November 19th. Yes. Refinery. Yes. Everybody should come. Everybody should come. Even though we only have room for 120, everybody should try and come. We'll cram 121 people in. <clears throat> and Kim Fontaine puts it the best way. She goes, uh, it is a $25 donation to the food bank with a free concert. Tickets are available at? The Refinery or uh, on the boards.ca. Okay. I think you put it the best where you said, this is my Christmas. Yes. Because it is. It is, a, it is a beautiful night. Lynn. Thanks for uh, you know being the first time on Strip Down. Thank We're gonna you. have to give you your own uh, solo episode sometime that would be if you're great. for it. Yeah. <laughs> what's what's uh, what's next for you? Past songs for supper. Mm, I got uh, some private things coming up, some house concerts, and looking to get back into the studio and record album number two. All right, Steve Meyer, welcome back. Hi. <laughs> How was it tonight? Felt like Very I was kind good. of ignoring you. A no, little bit. no, I, I like it over here, nice yeah. and quiet. <laughs> yeah. I, I've been yelling a lot tonight. Uh, it's been an incredible year since uh, we had you on last year this time again. It's weird. Like I, I look at you and it's like, who's that guy again? Because you had the, the beard and the, the, the long hair. It was, it, was, it was crazy times. I don't, you shouldn't be telling people that. I don't want them to associate me with that guy. That was the bizarro long, Steve Meyer. Yeah, that was... That's the old me, Curtis. Yeah, you've reinvented yourself. <laughs> um, I've moved on. It's crazy. I can see your eyes. Maybe that's I've what it is. Yeah. Uh, so look for a full-on Crestwood show in 2012. Lots of them. Sweet. Yeah, Lots Crestwood. of Crestwood. Yeah. We'll have a month long. Yes. <laughs> yeah, four weeks in a row. Look for that. I promise that right now. And John yeah. Lajamodier, the man who paid to be here. Paid too. to be here. Raising money. What a guy. Hey, let's go. Uh,
Yeah. 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 <laughs> Feeling the love. That's, that's, the, that's the new thing. Uh, he, he donated money to Reed Saskatoon for a chance to be on uh, Strip Down, and then he just threw five hundred dollars at uh, Chris's songs for supper cause. It's been an incredible night. Jennifer Juba came back. Is it? I'm overwhelmed. Can I do it again? <laughs> this was a crazy night on Strip Down. Uh, I'll let Steve get set up to play. I guess I'll stand and do my rap. You guys ready for this? Oh, chaos! Thank you so much. Thanks to our sponsors, oh, yes. Long and McQuaid, you Ultimo Uramoda, and of course Mr. Sicily's Pizza. Uh, for all things Strip Down, go on Facebook, type in Strip Down till you see the Dancing Girl logo. Go on it and hit like. There'll be pictures from tonight's episode, last night's episode, next week's episode. There's lots of pictures on there. Uh, you ready to go, buddy? You betcha. We're out of time. Born ready. Uh, again, songs for supper, <laughs> Saturday, November 19th at the refinery. And to here to play us out, a man who'll be performing that night, it's Stephen Meyer. Take it away, buddy. When I say that I've changed, honey, I mean I've definitely changed. And if you ask me again, Tomorrow, I'd probably say the same And I've been reckless before Sugar, I wouldn't lie to you But if I had it my way This time, we'd make the lies come true And it's been so very long I can't take it even if we run right out of love, can we still make it? And like a job full of fireflies, let's shake it and help light up the night. Light up the night, sugar. And love's not a game, oh, really, it's a real damn thing. So stop playing around with me, and let's get serious again. And no matter what you're waiting for, it just takes some time. And like anything else worth waiting for, it just takes some time. It's been so very long, I can't take it Even if we've run right out of love, can we still make it? And like a jar full of fireflies, I let's shake it And help light up the night the same but it's been so very long I can't take it even if we've run right out of love can we still make it and like a job full of fireflies let's shake it and help light up the night personal appearance is not the best.